Hello everyone, Solomon Chow here. It's July 1st, 2024. Happy July 4th if I don't see anyone because it's I'll be at work doing a double shift. So in American time you get time and a half pay, which is for me, I don't know, that's about $63 on the low end, maybe $65, you know, before tax, an hour. If I was a CPA, I'd be making $80 an hour on average, which requires a lot more brain power and intelligence, which only the nerdy of us Chinese can do, which I probably don't qualify. Nor do I want to mess up any paperwork, and if I, if I did, it all hell would break loose. And, um... A doctor makes about $90, $95, $85, dollars on average. Just a regular physician, a regular human being who doesn't do like 20 hours a day. And that's what it takes for today's standards to have a roof over your head and food and, you know, enough to stay away from your Karen mother or aunt or grandmother or anyone who's going to accuse you of living in their basement and playing World of Warcraft and watching porn all day. Uh, that is important to me so you know even though my brother fiance for the last past 10-15 years has cancer I just can't see her at the Sloan Kettering Cancer uh, Memorial Center in New York because I'll be working um, you know I, I don't know. I collected unemployment three times in my life and all of a sudden because I get overtime and I get paid like a human being on a livable wage, everyone has, I've reached a point where I've, I've aged out, all, out of all the school programs and this and that and now everyone's just dying of older age. Even at the age, as early as in their early 40s that they have cancer and they got a stroke and they got chest PE, they got, you know, rheumatoid arthritis or whatever the fuck, their hips are giving up. Um, you know, I'm going through that. And, you know, during my time, you know, I'm just like Ponce de Leon trying to find this fountain of youth, or in my case, you know, just money, which everyone's trying to find money, which is kind of stupid in this world because, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you have because you don't want to be the richest man in the graveyard. Steve Jobs, Charlie Munger, you know, Kobe O'Brien, you know, anyone can die at any given day. Also, I'm an introvert, you know, I'm cheap, I'm Chinese, you know, I got everything going for me that says this man is not supposed to spend money and he just lives off the scarcity mindset and that's just who he is. He's also very wary that people are scammers, they're grifters, they're charlatans, they're uh, tindlers, they're swindlers. I mean, the list goes on. There's Ponzi schemes, there's Freddie Mae, Max, uh, and Seuss. Even if the person has great good attentions, you know, banks can collapse, Synapse, Evolve Bank and Trust, you know, FDIC ins insured, Graham Stephan, me, Kevin, it's just very charismatic people sh selling something. You know, especially white guy. And you know what? You're probably gonna get fucked over. Like the Native Americans. It doesn't matter. <coughs> so you could have been Kobe O'Brien your whole life and just fight, die in a fucking, you know, uh, helicopter car uh, accident because the um, pilot was incompetent. Um, or did whatever and you know you're living a life of millions of dollars and it's just like whoa this isn't fair but that's just exactly what could uh, happen to you so I work that hard um, unless it was some kind unless you had a gift to share with the world you know but whatever I'm an x-ray cat scan tech you know that's my gift to myself and the world and whomever because, you know, no one else is going to save me. Everyone has all these crazy 
grifting ideas, start your own business, entrepreneurship. And, you know, it's the same thing. You work a lot of hours. No one's going to get away from this. And, you know, if you do make it big, then you have to pay all this tax money. of some asshole trying to sue you for over nothing. I mean, this always happens and Paul Logan is trying to sue CoffeeZilla and, you know, all these, you know, titans suing all their titans for, for what? It's just like pettiness. You have your million dollars, go home, but no, it's the greed demon, the monster continues to grow, the pettiness grows, you know, the selfishness grows, the posthumous fame grows, you know, the weird accusations grow, you know, the Amber Her and, you know, Johnny Depp cases, you know, explode in exponentially. This person said this, this person said that. My reputation is tarnished. At the same time, you got people like me, like who the fuck cares? And you know, these people, you know, don't let it go. Out of pettiness. Out of, they think they can monetize everything and, you know, make money off of everything. It's just crazy. <sighs> I no time for anything. no time for anything so it's already like 3 30 and I'm going back home to um, take a swim and rest and sleep for my next work shift and that's all I had time for go home take a shower sleep you know wake up eat write something down in my journal to keep my brain active and perform healthy daily habits then bike off to the track run get my you know H I I T interval with vitamin D taking my shirt off to maximize the experience and um, that was it And that was it. I didn't use the money to spend it on anything lavish. I didn't chase around girls. I didn't chase around women. With said money. And that was it. You know, I didn't have time. No time, okay? So if I was Wall Street guy, you know, if I woke up at 4 a.m. Or more so like a normal person at 7 a.m., I'd probably be in the office until 4 or 5 p.m. and doing the 9 to 5 gig. And that would be it. Then after work, I wouldn't want to reach out with coworkers or with possibly even women. You know, I'd probably say, fuck this. I don't want to get fired over sexual harassment, you know, or being accused of a stalker or meeting anyone with several other different, you know, boyfriends under the hood somewhere. 
And then it's just, you know, I'm just another casualty. I'm just, just another victim. You know, she's already got a Chad or Tyrone in her life. And she doesn't give a fuck. You know, she just needs to monkey branch off of the next guy. And, you know, if all that, if all that is... If all the, if that's all the respect I have for myself, you know, just to be someone's stepdad or something. I'm getting the fuck out of here and doing my own thing. But that's the state of reality. Like, you're gonna get fucked over. No one's perfect. You're not gonna be, meet Barbie. You're not gonna meet Ken. They're not gonna be perfectly single. You know, it's just everyone's savage, you know. They've probably been in five, ten different relationships already that has some kind of experience and now everyone's just saying no to everyone or whatever or they do the complete opposite and just spread their legs for anyone and uh, okay everyone just go out and do your own thing whatever you know I'm not you you go be yourself I'm gonna go be myself and the simplest thing for me to do is just do the nine to five or in my case, the overnight shift. You know, get get in as much overtime as possible. You know, tell everyone else to go fuck themselves, to fuck off. Why are you working so much? Why am I working so much? What other choices do I have as a young person other than to work? You know, you go do something else. You know, people are going to accuse you of being lazy, not working. You know, where's your girlfriend? Where's your wife? You know, this, all this fucking stupid shit. You know, all this Barbie and Ken. Hollywood shit that doesn't really add up in real life. Uh, Meanwhile, real people are probably dying of cancer, getting old, you know, being poor, you know, just saving enough money for their next rent payment. They're just like two two paychecks away from homelessness. I mean, that's just fucking reality. Meanwhile, the bank is trying to collapse and take all your money. Uh, Same with the, you know, investments that you made. Some may call this uh, prudence. Prudence. Being able to use wisdom. Being able to apply wisdom and intelligence and smarts into everyday life. Like street smarts. Prudence. Uh, I may be high in wisdom or have obtained a certain level of wisdom naturally. With some degree of it. But prudence is, is a different story. Do I actually use it? Do I apply it? Do I, do I value it? Do I value the wisdom of Solomon? I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know. I get greedy. You know, I just want more money. I don't care about my health. You know, I don't care about I'm boarding 16 hours a day overnights. I'm on a reverse sleep cycle. You know, people need an average of seven or eight, eight hours of sleep. You, you know, all these rejuvenation things. Regenerating of the body and the cells and the DNA at a microscopic level that none of us really understands that affects us uh, long term health wise. Also, your blood exams may indicate high HDL, LDL, blood glucose levels and stuff, uh, thyroid imbalance of thyroid hormones, and this and that. And whatever. You know, do I look obese? Do I look like I'm disabled? You know, I still have to work. I still have to make money. And people complain, you know, oh, if it wasn't this, then it would be that. Oh, if this, if your bank didn't collapse, then, you know, it would be like the stock. Oh, I told you not to invest in, you know, Apple, you know, when it was five, this and that. And then, Next year, all of a sudden, NVIDIA becomes number one or some crazy shit. Or you could have just gotten the ETF and technology in the S&P 500 companies. You know, whichever case, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket as Warren Buffett said. And this is life. It's just like... Everyone operates on hindsight bias. Hindsight bias. Oh, I think I'm a god because I'm reviewing things in past tense. You know, during the time of, during the time of... You know, just like school, you know, no one's... Very few people would be a 4.0 student. There's only one valedictorian, and I I can assure you, the valedictorian is not you, unfortunately. You're probably, even me, it's like A, B's, C's. You know, at some point you probably got all A's, and then you went to college, and next thing you know, you're a small fish in the big pond, and you're just getting C's. You know, 
we think you're the shit because you got a B. It's because you got one A. So the professor will sneak his finger up his, up your ass, you know, with something like organic chemistry too. And now you're, you're completely fuck, finger fucked. And damn, that's what life does. You know, some of the doctors probably go through this all the time. You know, they're just doing their everything thing, their family physician thing. And someone comes in with some severe trauma one, you know, type of thing. And then all of a sudden they need like a five star, you know, surgeon general to, you know, operate on a patient. And all the, you know, you know, uh, imposter syndrome people are like, oh, fucking hell. You know, I was just doing this so I can, uh get my new cyber, Tesla Cybertruck, you know. I was just doing this so I could, uh, you know, drive in my BMW over there, like, all this pretentious shit. It's like, no, no, they wanted the uh, hardworking Chinese guy or Indian guy or whatever, the Asian guy, to, to, to do the work, because they know he, he, he doesn't, have, you know, that's what he does. Um, whether he has a family or not, I don't know, but we all see on his face that he works plenty of hours of overtime and you know he's hyper focused and you know autistically you know working he has been autistically working his whole life because that's just the kind of guy he is you know he's not going to be like me kevin or graham stefan you know high level of charisma and you know social media content or personal branding and marketing shit there's just too many chiefs and not enough indians you know Sure, all the chiefs make all the money. That's why there's so many chiefs. Well, who's doing the work? All the chiefs are paying the the Indians. You know, shit. You know, we're all pretty much slaves, unless you're very high in the marketing, you know, field of the, the arena, the industry, and you're just good at grifting and sales and cold calls and and scamming and grifting and Tinder swindler, swindlering and picking on the next innocent, you know, weak victims out there and shit. So I made it back to the pool. What else is there for someone like me who doesn't like marketing, who doesn't really like selling themselves? You know, probably doctor or lawyering, or in my case, just being in the radiology department somewhere and maximizing overtime because I, I really, I don't have the mental bandwidth or the emotional bandwidth to be doing something else right now. You know, and that's it. I just have to stay low key. I always know someone's gonna be like, oh yeah, invest in my whatever, and then they're gonna completely scam you. And that's that's what keeps going on and keeps happening in the world. They gain your trust and then you find out you they turn as 360. Maybe their intentions were true, but most of the times, you know, they just want they find a way to get the money out of you and then they just fly off. And that's what happened. That's what happened in the 1800s and the early 1900s. The movie the show. Netflix, uh, Warrior, Bruce Lee story, you know, and stuff, Warrior. That's what happened to the, uh, kept happening to the damn, uh, the Chinese, Chinatowns and stuff, all the grips, all the scams, counterfeit money. Now they're working in current day China, counterfeit food. You know, it's the scams and grips and, the, you know, white, black, Chinese, whatever the fuck. is this late stage, you know, developing into a late stage capitalism. Where, you know, people can't afford to maintain their customer base or grow their customer base to, you know, prolong the business. And they just have to start doing weird, shady shit. <laughs> Happens in the car industry, people sneaking on the cars to, you know, hijack, you know, the, the damn you know, carburetors or whatever. You know, I don't even know. You know, it's, uh, all this grifting and stealing shit, I don't even remember anymore. Uh, oh damn. Anyways, you know, people still been stealing their copper from the Tesla charging stations. Cyber crimes up. People hacking, getting information of the dark web. You know, stealing everything and shit. It's just like there's no ethics. There's no sense of balance anymore. There's no. Even if you work hard for a living, you know, someone can just stab you. You die in a helicopter or a car crash. You know, all this funny, weird shit. Life is not fair. And, you know... Damn. So what are you supposed to do? Live in your own bubble? <sighs> and then you try to move to the city and you're just like, Oh, I want new opportunities and experiences and shit. And then you find out everyone there is a scumbag. 
And if the person is that you meet isn't a scumbag, then your landlord's gonna be a scumbag, charging you six, five thousand, six thousand dollars in rent a month. And you know what? Your dreams are gonna be shattered, and you eventually be a homeless. So you know, let's just fast forward this. It's the current timeline. You're homeless. You're dirty. Go back to work. Don't be delusional. Just work. There's really no life for you. I don't believe. You probably think you're gonna meet a sugar mama or something, or a sugar daddy. That I'm not saying that can't happen. Actually, one guy is dating a, a cougar. He's like 24, 25, and she's like 45. I, I told him to just go for it because, you know, life is just, you know, unfair. And, you know, just be be you if you, you know. If that's all you can get in life is, is a cougar, and by the time you're 30, she's going to be like freaking 55. I mean, damn. Uh, just life is not fair, you know. Again, you could be Kobe O'Brien, you could be a multi-millionaire. And you could die in a fucking helicopter, you know, helicopter accident, you know. You could be Steve Jobs, you could be the richest man in the graveyard. Again, life is not fair. You could work harder than the garbage man, the Mexican, you know. It don't matter, he gets paid the lowest, you know. It's not fair. Why are the hardest working people paid the lowest salaries? You know, there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians. So... Damn, we're all fucked. Just know yourself and make the best of it. Don't be delusional. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Do not, do not quit your day job. Peace out.